Welcome back. You're watching Alive and Well. I'm Linda Bakama, and this is Deb Skinner, nurse practitioner at Mercy Heart Center. And we are talking about women's heart disease in particular, but keeping your heart healthy overall. So um, one of the things that we didn't talk about is this, this lifting factor that women seem to do. Tell me what, that, what you refer to that. Well, basically there's a term called a Valsalva maneuver. Valsalva. And it's a little bit of a tongue twister, but <laughs> basically what that is is when you put un do stress on the heart okay. from bending over lifting too much or doing things over your head uh -huh. um, you know even something simple as reaching for an object you know taking paper off the wall um, mm -hmm. carrying groceries you know it might be too heavy but you don't think about it at the time because you are a woman and, and we do it all strong we do it all, do it all. <laughs> yes. um, but you know sometimes you have to listen to your body and if you feel like you're getting fatigued by some kind of an activity, you need to just stop what you're doing and rest and give yourself a chance to recover and then start again. So um, we tend to be um, in denial sometimes, just as sure. men can be, right. um, but we, we don't like to listen to our body sometimes because we want to go, 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 go all the time and, uh -huh. you know, we have things to do and right. we have so much time to do it. Yes. So um, we High have energy. to listen to our bodies a little bit more and avoid those activities that bother us um, and sometimes you don't know what those are until you do them. Right, and you quite know? often it's just that because we are on the go so much and it's the yeah. go, go, go and the stress factor and until you mm -hmm. start experiencing those things um, such as, um, I know, indigestion and mm -hmm. heartburn can come up just from stress alone. You start Absolutely. experiencing some symptoms that could sure. be a precursor mm -hmm. to worse symptoms that we don't want to have. Mm -hmm. um, what is that called again, Bell's? It's called a Valsalva Valsalva. Can you, you demonstrate it? Yeah. yeah. Show me what you're doing. But you're reaching down and you're going, Ugh, like that. Sort of like... Well, I, I'm thinking of women with grandchildren. I have a yeah. five-year-old granddaughter, yeah. and I'm sure we, we should always lift from, you know, bend right. and lift. Right. And we bend lift from, from the legs. legs. Lift, right. lift from the legs. And we tend to bend over and pick mm -hmm. up children. And my yeah, sort of like oh. people who, if I can say this, you know, are on the toilets and sure. tend to strain a little bit and that would be considered a Valsalva maneuver oh, okay um, you know but anything where you're kind of holding your breath and doing that that would be something that you would not want to do right and we don't, don't even think about it when we're lifting right. up something like the groceries or yeah. our grandchildren we just and then you got weight. some men and women I suppose that work out and lift weights and want to do all that oh, weight yes. over the head mm -hmm. and we really discourage that just because it might be too much workload on the heart I know I as a woman, we tend to, like you say, do it all. Moving furniture. I'm always Absolutely. moving furniture. You know, you yes. get bored, you want to change that living room around, and you true. don't want to wait for your husband or your right. somebody to get home and help you with mm -hmm. that. And so we move things all the time by ourselves that mm -hmm. we, we probably shouldn't. Well, hard on the heart, hard, hard on the back. Yeah. yeah, that's and a very good point. We talked about a lot of different um, foods and bad habits. We mm -hmm. didn't talk at all about caffeine because I know mm -hmm. I have a big caffeine addiction. That's my vice and I love my coffee. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of uh, studies that show both pros and cons with caffeine. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure like everything it's in moderation, but how, mm -hmm. what do you feel about caffeine? Well, caffeine is a stimulant, mm -hmm. first of all. And certainly if you have some high blood pressure tendencies or you're a highly anxious person or and your pulse is fast to begin with, that may not be the best choice sure. to, to use um, as a crutch to get you going in the morning. Right. You know, I, you know, you're talking to a healthcare person, so, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not really for caffeine. I'm not for the energy drinks or any of that oh, kind no. of stuff. They're just totally contraindicated um, for good health. So um, I think one cup of coffee a day is fine, okay. but I have people that drink a pot of coffee a day, and mm -hmm. that probably is not fine. Right. So we would talk about ways to modify that, whether you go to half and half for a while, but you, you don't cut this stuff out altogether like one day to the next. Sure. It's, a, it's a gradual kind of decrease because um, it can weigh on your body and the way you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, it sure it's does. kind of a withdrawal. Caffeine withdrawal, severe, yeah. severe so, headaches, and yeah. Um, and we really should drink more that. water. Everybody should yeah. drink more water, um, mm -hmm. even when you're conscious about it it's difficult yeah. I talked about the pedometer challenge which I really mm -hmm. liked checking out my 10,000 steps every day but water making yourself mm -hmm. drink I know when I talked to Blair yes. uh, Moreau here at another time at the Heart Center yeah. talked about carrying around that big bottle so you can make sure you get mm -hmm. all the water and was it 64 ounces 64 a day? 64 ounces a day preferably but a minimum of 32 ounces sure which is a quart and it really isn't that much if you look at it but it, mm -hmm. it, it can be overwhelming to think of you don't drink it all at once you know you right. drink 
You're throughout sipping, the day. Sipping sipping throughout, throughout the day. The day. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah, and more if you work out. And, yeah. You know, again, it's based on your body weight and so forth. So. And the last More thing better. that we'd like to mention to you is getting the proper rest, getting the proper sleep, because I think many of us tend not to get, I don't think that everybody needs eight hours, but boy, somewhere between six to eight hours, mm-hmm. I know that we just don't go on that. I think that is very individualized as well. Mm-hmm. You know, some people um, have poor sleeping habits because of their environment. Sure. You know, they sleep with the TV on, they've got the dog sleeping in the bed, mm-hmm. you know, nudging yeah. them to go outside. Right. Um, you've got the wife or the husband who snores. snores yes, you absolutely. know, you've got the CPAP machine that's mm-hmm. making so much noise sure. that you can't rest and you end up having separate rooms. Um, some people need sleeping pills. You know, it's just, it, it's unfortunately probably a very undertreated um, situation. Um, you know, there's a lot of sleep apnea out there and people need sleep studies for that. Mm -hmm. But proper rest, you know, there's just nothing to say that it, it really makes you have a good productive day. It does. If you can and again, sleep. if you have proper nutrition mm-hmm. and if you get the proper exercise, I know when I was getting up in the morning, walking my 10,000 steps before work, mm-hmm. uh, I felt good all day. I was energized. Mm-hmm. And when nighttime came, I slept like a log. It was great. Yeah. So that's the You're best more in active, the world. You will sleep better at night. night. Absolutely. That's great. Well, I want to thank you so much. Thank and please tell us, me. tell our viewers how they can reach you. Who to okay. call here? Um, Deb Skinner. I'm at the Heart Center. And my... Um, uh, number that I could be reached here is 672 uh, 3838 is the main heart center number. Okay, so and they could reach me through the main number. Okay, mm-hmm. so if people have questions about sure. heart disease or, yeah, or concerns, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to hear from okay. you. I'd love to hear from my viewers if you have any suggestions, mm-hmm. ideas, or if you have a special story yourself that's related to health care and you would like to be on the show sometime, please give me a call, Linda Balkama. Six seven two three two one five. Thank you, West Michigan, and have a great day. Stay Thank healthy. You.